Hello, hello, good morning, Atlanta. Thank you so much for joining me for Daily Spark with Dr. Angela, where we enlighten, inspire, and empower you to become your best self. The tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches, but a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire. Fire, And that's what we want to do today is get you fired up. And our topic today is about music. I'm your host, Dr. Angela Chester. My guest today, listeners, is Florence Pun, and she is out of Beverly Hills, California. We are talking producing non-mainstream music in the mainstream world, including Christian, including the Christian world. So let me tell you a little bit about Florence. Florence studied private classical music in Hong Kong as well as in the U.S. She studied fine art and interior architectural design in Florida and California. She has practiced her profession in the design field for many years. She was also a former flight attendant on an international airline. She has done every dream job she wanted to do as a child and traveled the world. She now can finally do more music production and recording and use her time for being a fine art education advocate, as well as engage in volunteering and fundraising for better education for underprivileged children. Florence is based in Hong Kong and in Beverly Hills, California. She is a recording artist in the the instrumental music and inspirational pianist. She plays classical, New Age, and Christian music. She started her piano lessons at the age of seven. Florence is a ABRSM Royal Schools of Music United Kingdom certified pianist. She studied private piano with a master from the Warsaw Music Conservatory of Poland. Her piano solo is often to be described as film music. They are heartfelt and storytelling. Her piano music arrangements and composition is modern with a classical touch, yet untraditional. Her piano solo range has been characterized as one of a kind. Theatrical without the help of orchestration, she brings the audience into a new territory filled with the resonance of a grand philharmonic. Her piano touch and style are influenced by the European heritage, American tradition, and the Asian aesthetic music elements. Since the release of her first CD, All the Way My Savior Leads Me, in 2016, her music has sold worldwide, all the way to New Zealand as well. It has been described as healing music by the listeners across the world. Currently, there are three FM Christian radios in the U.S. that are playing her music, radio stations playing her music, another one in Korea. A major online Christian radio station is also playing her music. Pandora has accepted her tracks iHeartRadio Culture News is among one of them. Many more are coming. In the coming year of 2018, she will be producing and recording three piano albums of classical music, wedding music, and classical New Age music of her own composition with a reputable studio in Los Angeles for worldwide distribution. Piano has been her greatest passion in everything. She never stops learning and improving. She is now devoting most of her time in creating music and art and volunteering. Florence has played piano voluntarily and professionally for many churches in Hong Kong and in SoCal. She came to know Jesus through playing hymns and reading the Bible. The verse that has motivated her to keep on playing the piano is found in Psalms 33, 3, play skillfully. And with that, what a beautiful, beautiful scripture to bring in our guest. Hello, Florence. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. Hello. Hi, Dr. Angela. Thank you for having me. 
thank you so much for being on. I am a huge fan of the arts, and I think that my listeners now know that. I try to have on as many musical guests as I possibly can. Um, I'm so grateful to my parents for exposing us to all genres of music and, and helping us to develop a love for music as a whole. So I, I want to spend as much time with you as I can and just have you share with us not only what you do, but kind of pick your brain a little. So my first question to you is creating non-popular music. When we, when we look at the the title or the description of what we're going to talk about today, and that's producing Mm -hmm. non-mainstream music, (laughs) what's creating non-mainstream music in a mainstream world? What does that mean to you? Um, the journey, okay, it was actually frightening in the beginning. And, but, you know, as along the way, I saw how God really led me all the way because there was, I went through so many doubts. I went through uh, many challenges, yet there, constantly there are signs telling me, you know, um, just don't quit. Just keep doing what God has called you to. Uh, mm-hmm. Just go for it and without fear. So um, I think that I have overcome a lot of fears and um, eventually I just um, ignore the negative voices in my head and then I just um, I just keep telling myself you know God put that in my heart and mm-hmm. I need to just um, be not afraid so <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 yeah and the thing is because um, I non Producing a non-mainstream music really um, also adds a lot of pressure because you do put money in the production costs mm-hmm. and everything, and so it's not something that um, that easily can be, uh, you know, just something that oh, you know, I, I just go ahead and do it. The, mm-hmm. I went through just so many doubts, you know, but um, the one word that I kept thinking uh, from a lot of people you know, have been telling me, don't give up. You Mm -hmm. just have to keep, you know, doing it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's okay not to, you know, it's okay to not to always have to do the popular music, so. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it wonderful when we have supportive people that can also believe in our dream with us and they encourage us and and keep us going? That's such a wonderful, a wonderful thing to have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Now, I like how you said that they reminded you to not only don't stop, to keep going, but to be true to yourself. Now, what would mm-hmm. you say is, because um, every it, people say that, but of course it means different things to different people. So when someone says stay true to yourself or straight, stay true to your passion, what does that mean for you? I think that just really means, you know, um, you at every stage, doesn't matter what you do. Um, in, for instance, in my case, producing music, um, go, I went through so many stages uh, from, you know, prep, uh, preparation um, during the process. Um, you keep have to looking back, what am I doing? Um, mm-hmm. Because there will be times that you will be tempted to do something else. You go off the rail. And um, you you will start to do something that's not the authentic you, and mm-hmm. so I guess you know the important importance about it is you know um, uh, to just um, believe in yourself. Other than you know we'll put our trust and confidence in God, but we mm-hmm. must also um, tell ourselves that you know because He already gave me the uh, ability to do something you know I, I just have to uh, stick to it, and mm-hmm. um, and. Don't change yourself just for to please other people. You know, in, for example, in the music world, there are many types of style of music. You know, um, ten people they love the you know the style of style A, and then another ten they like style B. You can never please anyone, and mm-hmm. um, I think that we <laughs> sure yes, exactly. You know, surely we need to be um, uh, be in tune with reality too. I'm not saying mm-hmm. that you know, you just create mm-hmm. so all of your creation without um, concerning a lot of things. I think that we, we use our common sense to know um, enough how our music can affect people. First of all, we already have, God gave us, each of us different gifts. 
We already mm-hmm. have that gift. And then we go from there, you know, we, we're going to create something. Throughout mm-hmm. the process, you know, we just have to ignore all the uh, um, negative voices. Um, if that voice has, has, you know, been telling you, okay, well, no, you need to do that. You need to do that. Um, mm-hmm. If you do this, you know, nobody likes it. You, you know, you, you're not going to be popular. And that's the major, the most important, uh, I, the biggest challenge, I would say. So um, for me, you know, I have to always stay true to myself, to my music, um, in order to stay, uh, stay true to your style, too, because um, that's how mm-hmm. people can, when they hear the music, ah, oh, okay, this is you, you know, they quickly recognize. And then so um, I think that um, staying true really, to yourself really um, has a lot to do with, um, first of all, you you please God first before you're pleasing yourself and any other people too. And then for all the creative artists, musicians, you know, we do know that, um, you know, how we're passionate about our creation, everything. And um, so it is also important to please ourselves too. So um, I think that we just have to find a balance. And also in reality, we need to always, you know, um, talk with other people to find out, you know, what they think. Uh, about certain things, people do give you some good feedbacks, and then I think that that's very important too. And so, but we do not take literally to everybody because everybody has different opinions. Eventually, you do have to find your own voice, find your own tune, and that when you're in sync with God's voice, and He will He will inspire you and lead you, and the world, you know, um, um, you meet good people, you, you have good influence, and good friends around you, they are the ones that help you to improve yourself, you know, but in the, end of, in the end of the day, you need to stay true to yourself, you need to um, constantly improving yourself, and just bring the best, doing your best, and, and bringing the best to share your best with the world, so this is what I think, what, what it means to me, being true to yourself. No, I love that answer. You've you said it so well. You know that we have to we have to be true to ourselves because God has given us each a purpose. He's he's given each one of us a talent. He's given each one of us a particular task or thing that we're supposed to do, and we should stay true to that. Um, and I think that that's something that our listeners are probably nodding their heads, going, "That's right, that's right." We we've said it on the show before. You know, be true to who you are. Don't be don't be anything um, other than that. Um, I wanna I wanna kind of mention something that I that I know that you've said before, and um, that is is that you say don't be afraid to let God use you for His mm-hmm. purpose and to bring Him the glory. That is such a wonderful a wonderful statement. Uh, what do you what do you mean by that, or what are you sharing with people when you say that? Okay, I think that you know I I took myself as a, as the example. I was afraid. <laughs> I was mm-hmm. afraid of um, doing a lot of things, getting in the public, you know. And um, once you go through that a- a stage, and you will realize that, wait, you know, was there to be afraid of, you know? And I think that, um, and then actually you enjoy creating more because you see that how God really leads you. He's not going to harm you. And mm-hmm. definitely, yes, we, we constantly need to ask God, is this what you want me to do, you know? If this is what you want me to do, then, you know, you take away the fear in my heart and just help mm-hmm. me to get over this and then just lead me through the way. And then, um, yes, I think that for me, um, I want to encourage others, too, because I am the first hand um, experiencing this fear in, my, mm-hmm. in myself for the longest time, <laughs> I, mm-hmm. you know, and um, I have to always kind of just like, oh, no, I'm going to stop. I'm afraid, you know. And then I read, as we read through the Bible, you know, we remember how, Many, many of the people that God has, uh, God has used, same thing, they were afraid. Moses, mm-hmm. you know, was uh, mm-hmm. one of the best, best, best examples. And then mm-hmm. um, there are many other people, God has called them, and then they refuse mm-hmm. to, um, for example, Daniel, I believe, and, you know, um, mm-hmm. he just, you know, he, uh, he didn't want to go, okay? And then so mm-hmm. I think that um, God just has always have a way to, pull us back. Okay, you know, don't go, don't go off. You know, I call you here and just stick to it. Mm-hmm. And then I will take away your fear one at a time. And then I think that we, 
as I go on doing uh, the thing that I'm called to do, and I, um, I constantly tell myself I have to rely on God to take away my fear and mm-hmm. in order for him to do great things in me. And um, this is something that we all have to overcome. And then when you, once you overcome, you know, um, you would realize that, well, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that mm-hmm. we just have to get bolder and bolder. And, um, right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. You, you, really, yeah. you really do. Well, Florence, before we go to a break, would you please remind everyone or let everyone know where can they find you on the Internet? Um, yeah, sure. Well, first of all, uh, they can actually, uh, they just type my name and my music and um, just, at, you know, all the way, at the Savior, my Savior leads me, Piano Solo by Florence Poon. Um, they can find me on YouTube, uh, iTunes, Amazon.com worldwide, and also my website is www.roselilyproduction.com. All righty, listeners, we need to go to a very quick break. We'll be back right after this. And we are back. Thank you so much for joining me for Daily Spark with Dr. Angela. I'm your host, Dr. Angela Chester. Today, we are talking producing non-mainstream music in a mainstream world. Our guest today is Florence Sun, and she you can find her online at roselilyproduction.com. She is out of Beverly Hills, California, as well as uh, Hong Kong. So that's right, you guys. We have an international art artist on the show today, and I love it when we can just uh, share what makes us alike? Because music is one of, you know, they call that the, one of the international languages, the language that bonds people together because everyone can enjoy the beauty of good music. And it seems like piano is definitely one of those instruments that really joins our hearts together. Well, uh, Florence, many times we think that um, – Things are are too small on our list of accomplishments, the things that we're trying to do or the projects that we want to take on. And we may think that, oh, this is just a small little something or um, this may not seem important to other people, but it's something I want to do. Um, What would you say to the person who, who believes that what they're working on right now is just a small little, a small little something, but it's a huge something in their mind. How would you encourage them? Um, I would say, you know, um, as uh, we discussed before, number one, really important is stay true to yourself, number one. And then, you know, um, check with, uh, you know, um, the reality. Uh, we need to do reality check. And then also number three is I think that we need to constantly um, – you know, just uh, tell ourselves, you know, we must do our best. Uh, the best cannot be compromised. And uh, if, if we want to do something great, we need to focus on bring excellence and, uh, and also um, just so focusing on doing the best. Because um, when our motive is set to please God, and, you know, the motive is really one of the m- most important um, key, the, is, is a key to mm-hmm. how we can, how, how God can use you and without you realizing it. Because I think that, um, you know, I, I know that we, we, all of us, you know, creative people, we, we want to do a lot of great things, you know. Right. I think that um, the, the key to really to bring out your, uh, what you want to do and um, the motive must be correct. We must have the, our heart must be right with God. Our mm-hmm. motive must be all about bringing glory to God. And when that, when these things all join hand to hand together, we focusing on, okay, I am continuously doing this for the Lord Mm -hmm. and just keep and pray to God, say, you know, I don't know what you want, um, how far you're going to take this to, but as far as you want to, and I, I I'll be glad to um, just keep doing it. The attitude probably is about, you know, without knowing the, the outcome, without chasing the vanity, 
without, Mm -hmm. um, you know, we need to just be um, at the point saying, you know, I am happy today. If if I die today, I already Mm -hmm. have done this. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And, Mm -hmm. um, and then I know God calls me to do this. And then, you know, I, I am not going to give up and I'm going to do the best for my God, first of all. And so um, I think that all of that will help you to bring not only focus that you are going to produce excellent, uh, excellent uh, creation that whatever that you try to create. And when I said, okay, God will magnify it in a way that you don't know. Yes, we don't know. When I rec- started recording the music, I had no idea how people found my music. I had mm-hmm. um, two current listeners um, posted, share my music on their website. And, um, and then I, I believe uh, Korean uh, classical, um, one of the uh, radio, and they, they picked up from, I guess, the Korean, um, they, you know, the media, and then they, mm-hmm. they've been playing uh, one-night track um, every day. And then so, um, and then, you know, as I told you before, I went through doubt. Okay, well, God also took care of that. Mm-hmm. And so um, suddenly, you know, there are radios that playing my music. And then um, I have people from different countries. I don't even know, like, almost every month, there are people who mm-hmm. purchase my music here and there. And then um, I, have, I will have people, you know, my friends will be, hey, you know, I need to um, get some of your CDs because I have uh, people requested to the music. And then so wow. um, mm-hmm. these things all happen. I was just could not believe because mm-hmm. I doubted my myself and um, if I look at my problems then you know there will be always problems and then mm-hmm. I tell myself listen you know it's, it's time to let go of all the fear and look at God he mm-hmm. is the boss if he wants to open the door he opens the door maybe this is something that we all learn to, to submit to God is he, if he wants to open the door nobody can block the door and nobody can mm-hmm. close the door um and this is something that we must learn to it's not in our control our attitude is about hey you know i'm i already create something it's up to you you want to use it go ahead <laughs> mm-hmm. you know um if you want you you don't want to use that you know i'll be fine <laughs> me you know I, this is something that is not difficult I mean, it's not easy to um to just say it you know you ha- we have to go through stages to learn to um, accept the outcome may not be what we wanted and mm-hmm. but I think that the motive of our heart is most important is to be pure that you know we're not looking for when I create something you know right. we, mm-hmm. we're looking for to um, the benefit of others instead of just ourselves we're looking mm-hmm. for how to um, glorify God Instead of just, you know, seeking glory in ourselves, all of this, God will bring it to pass because he can only use something that's pure. Mm -hmm. And so I just feel that, you know, um, even though I have some publicity, you know, and then, but I continuously, you know, I want, I want people when, you know, I want to remind people when, if they like my music, I appreciate that. I want Mm -hmm. them to, uh, to remember that, um, to remember God when you listen to my music, because that's the whole purpose. My music mm-hmm. is about to bring you close to God. That is the whole purpose of me creating music, um, mm-hmm. my, my first CD. So um, I have got feedback from different listeners. Indeed, you know, they, it helps them to meditate. It helps them to um, pray. It helps them to um, just think of God's kingdom. Mm-hmm. And so that really is overall that will help our spirituality. Um, there's a balance in our life, and then we can uh, balance it, balance it out, balancing out, and we mm-hmm. can, um, you know, uh, be refreshed every day, and then just you know continue on the next task God has mm-hmm. called us to do. So mm-hmm. I think that um, that's one of the things that I would encourage people to do. Is just you know. Um, um, just keep the focus on God alone. Yeah. Yeah. So that is that is absolutely a a wonderful a wonderful way of explaining it. And I love how you said that in our creations, 
you know, that, and especially with music, that it is a pure expression of, of what it is that we're trying to say in that moment, um, that, that God understands us in that very purest sense. And I think that um, that type of music draws people in whatever it is that you're that you're playing at that moment whatever instrument that you are utilizing at that moment be it that it's your voice it's piano it's a Mm -hmm. flute a french horn whatever it is Mm -hmm. in in that pureness i think people hear the um, they hear that your spirit is playing and that Mm -hmm. you are you are really trying to communicate um the blessings that God has given to you, the talent that, that God has given to you. Um, I, I like that with, with much of your music, that it, that it can be meditative, that it can be used as a time for us to quiet our minds and to spend um, time with God. Now, I know that for many, for many um, Christians, and I do have a question in here, but for many uh, Christians, I know that um, they hear meditation and it, and it may, may frighten them. I, I I don't want you to think that the word meditation itself has to be of, of a different culture or of a different mm-hmm. understanding. Sometimes we can just sit quietly and think about a scripture. We can just sit quietly exactly. and just yes. pray and spend time mm-hmm. with God. That, that too is yes. an understanding of meditation. Mm-hmm. So yep. when, when we do that, um, I think that there's a beauty, and, and you can let me know what you think about this. I think that there's a, a beauty that we share with the world when we do meditate, when we do spend time with God, that it, it kind of um, re-energizes us, and then we can go out and, and be that shining light for, for someone else. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely. This is, I think, that, you know... Um, this is something that we eventually uh, we will see. God will, God will use our lives to to make us to make us see that how beautiful that you know the world that we live in, and then you know when we can enjoy it, and then you know we can um, we will be able to help others to uh, to also see that beauty. And mm-hmm. so I think that um, this is exactly how it should be. It's it's a uh, it always comes back to you, and then I think that we, um, as long as we just uh, remember, um, I remember there's a phrase called, you know, think about uh, the beautiful things uh, on above, you know, mm-hmm. and that's that's really what God thinks, you know, that we we just um, because it's a pos- not only a positive thing, but it helps it helps our mind to um, not be distracted. And then um, the the entire uh, journey of uh, living really is to live a meaningful and fruitful life. I believe so. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. I I have to I have to agree with you on that. Yes. That we just should not waste. Um, anything that God that God has shared with us that He has has exactly. given to us, you mm-hmm. know, because we we really do need to share that. Because there's some people that say, you know, I'm not talented, like I can't sing or I can't play an instrument or, you know, the the traditional ways that that, that we think of talent. Um, but God really and truly does bless us in so many ways. Some of us yes. He He mm-hmm. gives you know the the ability to do mathematical equations or exactly. uh, chemistry or or whatever it is <laughs> that we really we do yes. need to work in 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 yes, those capacities. Yes. So mm-hmm. if we Absolutely. had if there was a an artist that was coming to you and they said you know I'm trying to find my way and I want to stay true to myself I want to share this talent that God has given me mm-hmm. and I don't want people tell me that I'm different I don't want to stop mm-hmm. being different mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. what maybe one or two little things what would you tell them or how would you encourage them I think first of all you know we all go through all the stages about self-doubt not only that which stop first of all will stop us from going forward and our confidence we must remember that comes from god alone really um Mm -hmm. i think it is the confidence that will uh, bring you through 
and um, you know uh, how we are how we are different, and it's great. You know, I don't always have to do the popular music or or just be mm-hmm. in the mainstream like that, and then doing something that's completely different, and um, yet actually people enjoy it. You know, there are people. You all you will find your own audience definitely, mm-hmm. and then you know being different for um, for God is a great thing, and then you know I think that um, we uh, we need to cherish that because um, we have the gift that God God gave us already that the world may not have it because it's a voice of God, and then um, it the peace and joy something that only it's truly only the uh, the family of God can really understand and relate, and that mm-hmm. is already a gift from God. And so, um, enjoy being part of God's kingdom. Be, enjoy being, you know, being able to understand to see God. This is really awesome. So I think that you know, for us, um, we will always you know face a challenge being a Christian musician, artist, whatever. You know, you will be challenged, definitely. Mm -hmm. But um, Mm -hmm. your confidence comes from God first. And, yes, we do, um, you know, what we do, our ability, we also add the confidence. And then I think that um, overall, God just wants wants us to um, really to use, to find out what he wants us to do. And he gave us, really, each of us, he has given a gift we do different things, but God has mm-hmm. called his people to do all the things, all things work together for him for good. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. so I think that we just need to, um, you know, just uh, stay true and um, don't be afraid. And then always, um, you know, when we are shaken by fear, by a lot of things, we just have to run to God. And mm-hmm. then the confidence, um, we have to keep telling ourselves, no matter how, what stage we are in, um, you know, even say, you know, if God ever bless, bless someone and they, they do very well in what they do. And a lot of people, um, it doesn't matter what stage, they will still have the fear and doubt. So the confidence can only be secured by knowing who God is, what his plan for your life, what, what does he want you to do? I think that um, that's, we have to always check back and forth to see that mm-hmm. whether we are in the, in the track or off, you know. So, um, so I think that we need to um, just uh, be more sensitive to uh, hearing God's voice and stay on track, mm-hmm. you know. And so um, I think that will help us eventually to uh, Mm -hmm. stay true and stay true, meaning, yeah, I am different, but then it's great. (laughs) So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, yeah. I think I think that's a that's an awesome way because we are we are different um, as Christians. We we are supposed to be different. And yes. in that difference that we should definitely celebrate it. Well, listeners, we need to take a very short break, but don't worry. We are going to come back and continue this awesome conversation with my featured guest today, Florence Hun. And you can find her online at RoseLilyProductions.com. We'll be back right after this. And we are back. Thank you so much for joining me for Daily Spark with Dr. Angela. I'm your host, Dr. Angela Chester. We are talking producing non-mainstream music in a mainstream world. My guest today is Florence Pun. You can find her at roselilyproductions.com. Now, Florence is based in Hong Kong as well as in Beverly Hills, California. She has done so much. She is definitely a renowned artist, and we are so glad that she is able to spend some time with us today. One of the things that I love that uh, that Florence shared with us was that the, the verse, the scripture that motivates her to keep playing the piano is Psalm, tw- I'm sorry, Psalm 33, 3, and it says, play 
skillfully. And I love that. I love that when we have uh, scripture that motivates us and continues to help us work in our purpose. Now, many times when we when we talk about uh, business or we talk about ministry, and uh, sometimes people forget that there is a business side to ministry, um, that though we share about the wonderful things that God has, has done for us, we, we also have to be business-minded and make sure that we're making wise decisions. Um, one of the things that we talk about, like I said, in business is comfort zones, thinking outside of the box, not being um, ho-hum or run-of-the-mill or just average in, in what we do because we do want people to pay attention to our brand or to pay attention to what it is that we're doing. Um, what are some of the things that that you do or have done to get yourself out of the box? just outside of the normal way of thinking about things and make your brand the best brand that it could be. Okay. So I guess, you know, uh, it will, I will just take my CD as example. I have played piano forever. I've done, I, I love, I have a fine art degree like that. And, um, the comfort zones, I've gone out of my comfort zone so many times. Um, for example, you know, um, I never really wanted, uh, in the beginning, um, thought about doing a CD, but there was fear. So um, I kind of just, you know, like a lot of people, just postpone, okay, um, procrastinate and say, well, I would get there, I would get there. So what happened was um, because of an injury of my pinky and because of that, I think that was alarming to me. And then I thought, oh, great, you know. What if this? What if that? And then, mm-hmm. you know, um, you, you reflect yourself saying, okay, so what have I done? <laughs> but you, again, you know, <laughs> you mm-hmm. ask God, no, God, I mean, come on, that's silly. Why would God suddenly want, you know, stop, want you to stop playing something for him, right? But we ha- mm-hmm. I had that doubt. But then it's scary. I didn't want to talk about it with anyone. I mean, people mm-hmm. are very sensitive around me. They people really want to talk about, you know, they just, are you okay? Are you okay? But for mm-hmm. me, um, because that incident, it prompted me to think, okay, if I don't do it now, when can I do it? And then right. it's scary for me to think about the thought that what if I can never play again? And then what if, say, you know, yeah, so there are a lot of what ifs. And also there's just a lot of, I just could not describe how the, um, devastated I I was feeling um, so eventually uh, I think that I just got on my comfort zone you know what do it mm-hmm. this is the best time to do it so timing kicks in and then so I think that we also have to always be alert about you know what God wants you to do and then don't miss the timing mm-hmm. and then also um, if, if we really miss it because we do miss, we do do mistakes you know we always will uh, make mistakes and so I think that we just have to get back um, to God and then I I wholeheartedly believe that God is not someone that you know say oh okay you missed it well too bad <laughs> so right, God has a right. way to help you to to bring mm-hmm. you back I mean he is merciful and he's gracious and he understands we will make mistakes, you know. And we we will mm-hmm. always maybe pass a deadline or we, we, we procrastinate. And then this, you know, but then he will help us to, you know, just give us alarm. Hey, you know, we need to do it now. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that is mm-hmm. one thing that I think that's comfort zone really through my CDs, you know. And then there are many other things that I have gone in my com- comfort zone. So I, I don't really want to do this, you know, it's going to take a lot of time and just a lot of process. It's very complicated. But then, mm-hmm. you know, eventually you actually would be happy that you have done it. And then, mm-hmm. you know, um, I, I'm happy to hear that because me making this first CD and then the many church pianists I've shared my tes- testimony with, really, I have, I think I have inspired uh, many people that, you know, they, they also want to do um to just to do something that you know um, mm-hmm. they never thought before, and there are many uh, musicians that have expressed to me that they they always say, "I wish I had done that. I wish I had done mm-hmm. that in my younger years. I wish I had done this." And then you know my my 
advice for the younger generation is it is really to start young. There's no mm-hmm. um, delay. Just do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. you know, you'll be happy in the end. So eventually, you know, we do something for God, but actually we do do something for ourselves too. So, um, you know, it's for the benefit of us. And then I think that we will be able to see why God is so great and why he's so gracious and why he, he loves us is because eventually we see that, oh, you know, it's it really, he did all of this for me because mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I have joy and then I like, I, I love it, you know, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think so it's just interesting how. Comfort zone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because we, we, we try to make um, God seem like he's human sometimes, you know, we, we yes. make him very um, an earthling, if you will. And, mm-hmm. and we forget that, yes. that he doesn't feel um, about us the, the way that we sometimes even feel about ourselves, that there's, there's that love there that just yes. um, is, is yes. just amazing. And that it, it's, yes. it's just so awesome mm-hmm. when you finally tap into that and you understand that it's like, mm-hmm. it will, it, it is really, it, it's very quite humbling that someone loves you that much and yes. is, is willing, mm-hmm. willing to do that much for you. Now, yes, yes. one of the things, one of the things that I know um, that you talk about a lot is that you talk about a lot when you're sharing about your music is that we should live unselfishly. Um, mm-hmm. I love that. I, yes. I absolutely love that. I, I do a class that's called living an echo lifestyle. And it's mm-hmm. kind of in the, in the, in the same vein, uh, somewhat as, as what I think that, that you're going to share here today. And I know we don't have a, a whole lot of time, but I do right. want you to be able to share as much as you can. What does it mean to live unselfishly? I think that, you know, uh, as a Christian, you know, um, as Christians, we are gifted for actually the ability to share. And I think that uh, we, um, we need to uh, just um, constantly uh, tell ourselves that, you know, I, yes, we need to manage ourselves too because living a life that God gave you is very precious. But at the same time, you know, it takes a lot of time. It's of 24 hours to take care of yourself, okay? I mm-hmm. think that we must really um, um, be diligent, help ourselves to live the best we can in order to be able to help the other people. If we don't mm-hmm. take care of ourselves in every area that we want to do, we would not be able to help other people. And then if we're only thinking, well, who cares, you know, I'm just, it's just for my life. Certainly, you know, um, this is your choice. You may go ahead. But then we do know that we, when we, um, when we walk in our life as a journey that we, we take and, when we think, you know, how um, our lives, if we all, if our lives, we can impact, there's an impact on other people. There mm-hmm. is a uh, good influence on other people. We would ha- we'll be happy too. And then to live unselfishly, really to, to just not be so self-centered, to just always think of, think of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we I, I believe, you know, we're here that God already blessed us. So We want to bring the blessings that God gave us to others. And this is how I believe the calling of God for his people to Mm -hmm. bless each other. And um, I believe that in order to be able to have the ability to do that, we must um, do well in ourselves. And we must be diligent at all times. Um, Quick example, for example, you know, we we all get physically tired, you know, and um, Mm -hmm. I think that, then how am I going to even take care of other people, right? Can I even take care of myself? That's absolutely true. Um, but not say, I'm saying that, I'm, I don't mean that, you know, we should, we, we should not take a break or we should just, like, uh, work ourselves, you know, crazy. I don't mean by that. I think that w- when I say that, you know, we first need to take care of ourselves physically, uh, mm-hmm. spiritually, and emotionally um, because we – are um, the arms and legs of God. We are called to help others, to lead mm-hmm. others. So we must be in a good shape. 
and um, in many areas, if it's not every area, because we all are limited, you know. We just need to do our best, um, but in the best, do our best in the areas that God called us to do. And mm-hmm. um, God has not called us to do everything. And God has not called us to, you know, we all have to do this and that. Now, I believe that, you know, um, whatever that has touched um, you in life and we follow that voice, we will be able to um, help others and to live unselfishly, really to just, um, we, uh, we, think of that, we think of other people too. Um, mm-hmm. Start up with your family first. Mm-hmm. with your family, with your friends, and then with people on the street. On the street. And um, our joy, we should, you know, we, are we obligated to share our joy with other people? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that we, I wouldn't say obligated at all. I think that we cannot help it because um, mm-hmm. God has really brought a lot of joy and, a lot of joy and peace and, mm-hmm. um, to us. And that's why we are eager to share. And we right. want to help other people, the person next to next to us, to to be better. So mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that that's how it should be to uplift each other, to to just um, encourage each other. Um, start with the next person, just the person next to you. Yep. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That when we, yeah. you know, we just. If we could just encourage each other and and keep each other going. Well, listeners, can you imagine we are out of time? Florence, thank you so much for sharing um, not only uh, what it means to be an artist producing non-mainstream music in a mainstream world, but just the, the witnessing of who you are and what it means to share our talents with the larger circle, with the larger community, and just walking and and living out your purpose. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you so much, Dr. Angela. I really enjoy uh, speaking with you. And listeners, thank you so much for being on and listening to us as well. We appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you here back on next Monday at 10 a.m. And as always, may the Lord continue to shine his face upon you. And may you receive his grace and his mercy in all that you do. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.